My name is Carl Gruber. I'm a practicing surgical pathologist in Charleston, South Carolina. And my wife and I co-founded our company, Luca Sunscreen, uh, really out of necessity. Our son was allergic to every product we tried. We went to numerous dermatologists and allergists, and we finally decided to take matters in our own hands and figure out really what was bothering him to develop something better. In the process, I became concerned about the level of UVA protection in products. Unlike uh, Europe and Japan and Australia, we don't have a UVA rating system in this country, and we have a lot of products that do not provide good UVA protection. And with these products, you're simply cooking your skin with UVA rays, which is what ages you and is now strongly linked to melanoma. So we're, trying, we're on a crusade, really, to try to get people to evaluate the products they use um, effectively and to really demand that they get better UVA protection. And demand what we're putting on our bottles is this right here, critical wavelength. Uh, our critical wavelength value, that's the gold standard for rating the level of UVA protection in a product. And ours is higher, Luke is higher than any other product on the market. So if you're using our product, this is important. UVA rays ages you. This is on a slide right here. I see this every day. That's dermal damage caused by UVA rays. And that's important enough to wear a good product every day. And it's worth the research. Look into your products that you're using. Um, look at their active ingredients and then start digging. Find out what their critical wavelength is. And it may save your life. It's certainly going to save your skin from the aging effect that you see here. Yes, this is uh, a graph right here of the UVB and UVA range. UVB range, uh, B rays are what cause a sunburn and it's rated by SPF values. The UVA part of the spectrum causes a little bit of tanning in this area right here but the rest of it over here does not cause any immediate effect. Uh, so we initially thought that this part of the UVA spectrum uh, was harmless. And as it turns out, it's anything but harmless. As you progress further and further out from the UVB part of the uh, spectrum, which causes the sunburn, into the tanning effect here, and further on out uh, in this direction, you penetrate deeper and deeper into the dermis, causing uh, basically actinic change and the dermal breakdown that leads to uh, premature aging, leads to skin thinning, sunspots, wrinkles. So really the whole push now in sunscreens is to go after this half of the UVA spectrum. And to go after this half right here, a product has to have avabenzone, titanium, or zinc uh, in the formulation. So a consumer that wants a good product needs to first look at the active ingredients and look to see if it contains avabenzone, titanium, or zinc. If it does not, then you're not blocking this part of the UVA range. And in fact, you're simply only getting the first half of the UVA. And you're actually probably doing more damage than wearing nothing at all. We're Lucas Sunscreen. Uh, we can be found at uh, www.lucasunscreen.com. Sunscreen is going to be our entire uh, business, really. We'll be coming out with a tinted product uh, soon. Uh, once again, these are daily wear moisturizers. We'll be coming out with a uh, spray-on zinc formulation. Uh, spray-on formulations, and that's as a sport or beach product, um, that will not have moisturizer in it. And basically, uh, these spray-on products are very popular now, but most of them, if not all of them, are alcohol-based. And so you, you spray it on your children, they go crazy if they've got a cut. They're 60, 70, 80 percent alcohol. Uh, ours will be water-based, and it's a spray-on zinc product. So uh, we're kind of excited about that. The technology behind these products are changing uh, rapidly. In other words, what we're doing now, we couldn't have done two years ago. We use uh, polycrylene in our formulations, uh, which was developed uh, two years ago, and is new to the market. That's, what, that's how we're able to achieve our level of UVA protection. That'll soon be replaced by something else called Solacil, PSF, uh, which will be introduced to the market. The technology is simply changing. People are becoming aware of the UVA issue. They're becoming aware of the aging effects of UVA, and they're beginning to demand better products and so people like us are bringing it to market.